What's good guys? Uh, this video is going to be on why I started flipping medical commodities. But first, last video, we had a uh, $20 giveaway. So we're going to be picking the winner right now. Uh, we have our comment picker up on the screen. It's probably hard to see, but we're going to do this raffle. And uh, whichever name gets generated first is the winner. So let's go. Alright, and the winner is Dylan Villalba. Alright, hey man, I'm struggling at the moment, so anything would really help. I'm very appreciative of you for doing this. Keep up the great work with his cash app. So Dylan, you know, thank you. I appreciate the comment, man. And uh, you're the winner, so I'll be sending you that 20 bucks right now. Alright, so Dylan's the winner. 20 bucks going to you, bro. Alright, there we go. And uh, for anyone else, you know, um, I'm going to be doing more giveaways probably once we get, you know, every time we hit another 100, so 200, 300, I'll probably do another 20, maybe $50 giveaway. Uh, once, if we do hit 1,000 subscribers, I might do a $1,000 cash giveaway or maybe a phone or something like that. So just stay tuned and uh, we'll be doing more giveaways on this channel. Let's get into the video. Hey, thank you guys. Alright guys, so everyone who entered the give giveaway, thank you. Like I said, we'll definitely be doing more giveaways. I'm thinking every time we hit, you know, 100 more, maybe once we hit 200, I'll deal with either a $20 or maybe even a $50 giveaway. And then 300, 400, maybe at 500, I'll do, you know, maybe a few hundred dollar giveaway. But definitely if we do hit a thousand subs, I'll do something special for sure. So let's get to the video. So this video is why I personally started uh, flipping flipping medical commodities. So why I personally started doing it is because uh, when I was 16, uh, I got a job at Walmart. And um, yeah, that was basically, I did have a job before that. When I was younger, I was refing uh, youth basketball games, like little kid basketball games. But that was just on the weekend, so, you know, I was just making a couple hundred bucks, but I was working at Walmart, I was working almost full-time, but I was still only making, like, a little over a thousand dollars a month, and, uh, but before that, so when I first started working at Walmart, you know, I heard of the business, you know, didn't know too much about it, but, um, man, I was really, the thing about working a job, especially, uh, a hard labor job, well, I wouldn't really say it's too hard of a labor job, but, when I was working at Walmart, I was on what you would call cap two. So cap two was where we were in the back unloading trucks to come in. Uh, sometimes it would have me actually be on the truck uh, putting the items and products and boxes onto a crane that pushes out and other people organize them. And sometimes I would just be, you know, working the crane, just organizing stuff. And man, it was tough, you know, especially when it'd be hot outside. Uh, inside the truck, it gets even hotter, man, you're just sweating, you know, and it takes like three hours to unload a truck, so it was really tough, and I wasn't really making that much money, so I didn't have much money, you know, I was making a thousand dollars a month, I drove a old Jeep, so it was just, the gas mileage was terrible, you know, I have a better car now, but the gas mileage was terrible, and, uh, you know, I would just get the check for like 500 bucks, and like, you know, I was 16, I wanted to hang out with my friends and get food and stuff like that, man, I was blowing those checks pretty pretty fast and it was hard to save money and I knew that I knew of Shopify and things like that but the thing about that is I wanted to be able I really needed to start making money you know like that and with Shopify and drop shipping and online businesses it typically takes time and you gotta have you know uh most of the time you have to have a lot of money to put into it to get the business to start operating you know sometimes like with Shopify I think you know, you have to have an inventory and stuff like that. I don't know too much about it, but I knew that I probably wouldn't start making money quickly. So when I first was like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start flipping medical commodities. I was, um, yeah, you know, I uh, I needed to be able to make money fast. So, um, you know, once I was like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip medical commodities. I literally had like 40, 50 bucks. Like I, you know, I had like 40 bucks, but um. So that's when I really committed to it. I had a friend who was diabetic, so he had, uh, 
I think the first time it was like eight or nine, maybe ten boxes that I bought from him for my very first pickup. So I bought those boxes. I, they were the FSL 50 counts. Um, I bought those boxes. I turned my 40 bucks into, I believe it was exactly $156. That was my first flip ever in this business. And then I started putting up Craigslist ads because I don't really have money for bandit signs. So I started putting up Craigslist ads and things like that. And then the next day, I got a new client from Craigslist, went and got seven boxes from him, turned that 150 into 300 something, and then it just went from there, got the ball rolling. You know, once I had five, 600 bucks, I got some band designs, put those up, and I just kept pushing from there. And that's how I made close to or a little over six figures flipping medical commodities so far. You know, obviously, I'm looking to level up. Hit that fifteen, twenty thousand dollar a month mark. I know that I can. I just need to keep my foot on the gas pedal and keep doing it. So yeah, guys, that's basically why I started flipping medical commodities because I needed to make cash quick. Like you know, I I really didn't want to you know spend months just putting a business together just to get my first sale. I wanted to you know start making money quick, and that's the beauty of this business is that once you get started. You can literally put ads up and then get leads like that because people, they get over-prescribed boxes they don't want. They just want to get rid of them for cash. So that's why there's always a demand. People are trying to sell their boxes. You can buy them and then flip them to the wholesaler for, for really good profit margins. And that's another thing I'm going to get into is the profit margins, guys. Because with Shopify, I was doing some research into Shopify and I heard like, like 10 to 20% profit margins all in all, was like average for a, a Shopify, if you're doing Shopify, and like, you know, I mean, if you're moving, you know, hundreds of thousands of different units, you know, you can make money with it, but, um, you know, with flipping medical commodities, your profit margins are 50 to 70, sometimes 80 percent, you know, so that's another, uh, another good thing about this business is the profits are high, you know, you buy for 30, sell for 70, you know, buy for 20, sell for 45. The 100 count boxes, they go for any, from anywhere from 60 to almost $80 a unit. So you get 10 of those for like 300, go ahead and flip them for like 750. So you can literally make 500,000 bucks in a day with a couple hours of work. So that's basically it, man. Um, the reason I started this business, I wanted to make money quick and I knew that I could do this. It's simple, you know, I was 16 years old when I started doing this, and I, I did it. So if I could do it as a high school student, you could definitely do it too. You know, it's not complicated. You just buy, resell, ship. You know, he is market, and then uh, pickups, invoice. That's all it is. Three step process. So you guys, if you like this video, uh, leave a leave a like. You know, comment, subscribe. If you are interested getting started uh with the business you can book a call down below and if you're kind of on the edge you need some questions answered you can still book a call i'll hop on the phone with you and uh you can ask me any questions you have and uh you know i'll, I'll be happy to help you can also hit me up on instagram or on facebook and uh yeah guys i hope to see you in the next one uh thank you for everyone who entered in the giveaway Shout out to Dylan for winning the, the giveaway and more to come, guys. Thank you for supporting me and have a good one.